In this video, we will talk about application application of linked list where we have already seen in previous videos how we can implement stack operation and queue operation. There are different kinds of queues that we, could, we can implement. The operations are NQ and DQ. where we insert an element in rear end and delete an element at the front end. There is also a double ended queue, double ended queue and its operation NQ and DQ also implemented by using any type of linked list that is what we dis discussed about singly linked list doubly linked list and circular doubly linked list circular singly linked list with header node also we can implement the stack operation and the queue operation or double ended queue operation that we have already seen in previous videos of this data structure videos. In coming in this video, we concentrate on how polynomial is represented using linked list and how polynomials are added together and how a polynomial is evaluated in this video. We ignore all, all these three applications where a long positive number which is like greater than 100 or 50 digits or 100 digits which that number doesn't fit into computer memory such numbers can be operated or apply or added or any arithmetic operation can be done with using the linked list and a symbol table construction which is a compiler design topic in to construct the symbol table a linked list also can be used and to design a, or implement a spreadsheet application such as excel also be used a linked list can also be used for that purpose. Now in this video we concentrate on only this particular application where polynomial is represented. We will see how a polynomial which is denoted as P of X in mathematics we could, we could write like x square 2x plus 3. So this is a polynomial of variable one variable. Now we say like definition poly means many and nomi nomi else nomi else means terms and these terms may be consist of constant and variable and power or exponent so the p of x consists of three terms and each term can be divided that is x square can be divided into these three components constant is 1 here and the variable is x and the exponent is 2 and for the next term 2x we say 
the constant is 2, variable is x and the exponent is 1. Similarly, the co next component is 3, the constant is 3 and the variable is also x but the power is 0. So that x raised to 0, any, uh, any number raised to 0 is 1. So 1 is multiplied by 3 and it becomes 3. So we can say that any polynomial consists of many terms and each term is of this kind. Now if we can take for example a polynomial with the two variables, each term will have For example, this one. Now, it has 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So, 4 terms, that is why it is polynomial. And each term now has one constant. And a variable 1, where 1 and, and where 2 variable 2 and each of that you have power exponent of that exponent and each term suppose term 1 1 is constant 2 variable x and power is 2 variable y power is 2. Term 2 is constant 3, x power is 2, then y power is 0. Term 3 is constant 3 and power of x is 0 and y power is 1 constant like term 4 the constant is 6 and the power of x is 0 and power of y is 0. Let us observe a thing over here where the constants are different for each term and the variable is same for same and also here it is same the variable is same but the exponent exponent is different for both of this so for a term which are all different, constant is different and exponent is different. This exponent is depends on number of variables and this constant depends on are both depends on number of constants or number of terms. S similarly, you, you, you can just think of how P of X of Y of Z polynomial in each term where you have three variables. If you consider the that is 2x square y square z square are uh, some 10x cube y square minus 5x y z cube plus 10. So now we, we, we can just say that constant it's changing and power of x is changing. 
so we can store we need to store the coefficient the name coefficient and power of x and power of y and power of z or we can say like coefficient cf px is power of x and py is power of y and pz is power of z and value of x and y or z remains same so given this particular polynomial we can declare a structure inside which has coefficient power of x power of y and power of z and a link field so use using if if the polynomial is is p of xy then we'll have a structure will have c coefficient power of x power of y and a link field if a polynomial is only one variable then we have coefficient and power of x and the link field and this is one term if we have if we have another term then we can link like this another term like this so we can represent a polynomial of variables two variables one a variable or three variable or n variable in a linked list each node represents a term this is second term of a polynomial so taking one example we we can represent a polynomial so consider this polynomial of three variables then we we, we should have a structure which will stores power coefficient and power of x that is as shown here so these are the fields now we we'll say 12 power of x is 2 power of y is 14 and power of z is 15 and there there would be a link likewise i can represent the whole polynomial like this I am just adding a header, a header of same type like this. And here I ignore all the fields. That is coefficient field, power of x, power of y, and power of z. only this field is used i just ignore so this one is a circular circular singly linked list with header no so we will use a node of this type where the coefficient is considered to be integer 
this can be also float and these power of x and power of y and power of z so this is a polynomial of variable 3 so if it, it is 2 then you will have like power of x and power of y and coefficient so we use this particular definition for head, header node also and for linked list list node also so the header node and linked list node does not have any changes in them consider uh, another polynomial of three variable of term 1 2 3 4 and this can be represented as a circular singly linked list with header node as shown as shown here this is nothing but as we read the terms from the first term second term like that and third term we we will add a node into a circular singly linked list with header node in the rear in the rear in the rear side so another term if i enter like 2 then here the term would be added at the rear so to, in order to construct in order to represent a polynomial you have to read a term then you need to use insert rare insert rare operation on circular singly linked list with header node so that is what we will be discussing how to add or insert a rare a node a node in circular circular singly linked list with header node so how we can go about that first the st step a would be like create and initialize new node that is we we allocate using malloc and and initialize all the coefficient power of x power of y and power of z then we will traverse the list to get the address of the last node in the list then we will insert that particular node this particular step is trivial as we know already let us see how we can traverse to get the address of the link and we will see how we can insert that particular node consider this linked list which is a circular linked list having two nodes ignoring what is the value inside we shall see how we can get the address of the last node for that we need to fa we need to so we initialize a pointer over here to header using this also or we can initialize this pointer here using current is equal to head link so now header link is nothing but this one so from here we will be traversing where current link is not equal to head so that while current link is not equal to head if this condition is used then we can jump now using this particular statement 
let us try out this these statement one by one for this particular linked list now i will initialize current is equal to head link head link is nothing but this one so i am point, pointing over this particular node once now while current link is not equal to head now current link is actually this one but not equal to head yes it is not equal to head now what i do i'll i'll jump over here next current link current link is this one this is equal to head this is equal to head so the loop will be coming out of this for y loop so this this is what this statement will leave us to obtain the address of the last node of the linked list once we get the address of the linked list now we need to add new node think that we are going to add here the new node which is like this i ignore uh, the number of fields here okay so now you have current here and we need to establish a link like this and you have to write here the head address so this is the first and this is the second step so the first statement would be now current link is equal to 10 so that this is established now now this pointer or this information will have this temp information but not this so this link is gone now this link has to be has to be stored with the header so that this points to this so it appears like this so now this is this what we can do is temp link is equal to head so one node has been inserted and if we return head a node is inserted at the rear so the same discussion now now we can evaluate all all these all these points or statement for a scenario where there is no node at all that means a linked list with only no nodes at all so a linked list with no nodes would be this so now you can see that current is equal to head link so now current is head link here itself now while current link is not equal to head current link is actually equal to head so the while loop will not be executed it will come here so there is a linked there is a node which is of this type please ignore the fields that i am taking now we will we need to have execute these statements this is one and this one has to be pointing here so this is what the second state well whether current link current link is nothing but this guy current link is nothing but this current link is equal to temp 
so this has been established now now this one no longer exists now after executing statement one then the second statement temp link temp link is this one is equal to head now this no longer exists now now this one is established so with the same 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 steps we can insert a node into a empty list or we can insert a node at the rear end to a existing list so we created header circular list single linked list with which will insert rear given linked list and supplied coefficient power of x power of y and power of z declare two pointers which points to last is this node last node of the linked list and this one is to create new node so allocation is done and initialization of that particular node has been done now this must be in inserted at the rear end to insert at the rear end we have already discussed that we need to obtain we we need to obtain address of the last node present in the linked list that can be done using this steps so earlier in, in the discussion we we used a pointer variable called current but now we use pointer variable as last wherever last is there if we replace with current so the same thing that we discussed earlier so that's the change that i wrote here so at at this con uh, statement or the point the the last pointer will points to the last node of the linked list so here we we get obtain the last address la address of the last node here once it is there then we we will insert that particular node which is created and initialized in pre, uh, at, at the first now we will in insert that and return the head so this is the function which inserts the node given node in the rear end in circular singly linked list with header node next we will discuss how to read a polynomial coefficients and call circular the insert rear function that discussed earlier in order to construct a polynomial representation that is we we cons construct a circular circular singly linked list with header node so how to read a polynomial is next discussion we we are going to have so this one for each now for each term so for each term read the terms like for each term for each term you need to read coefficient power of x and power of y and power of z then call the function that earlier we discussed to insert that particular node into the rear so now we can have this for a loop until all the terms has been entered and inserted in in the circular linked list 
so that is the whole idea of reading the polynomial so there is there should be a loop statement over here for each term and each term you have coefficient power of x power of y and power of z then you call the insert where function and after that this function would return a a list the representation of a polynomial that is with circular linked list with header node it will return a linked list so i need so i just declare a, a function read poly underscore poly which will have a empty head like a head okay with no nodes at all it will be given here for the first time for the next the then a linked list would be there with one node for the second like that so this basically a linked list so i a variable i is for loop and n is number of terms and these are the coefficient and power of x and power of y and power of z so for each term here we can say like print so i am just say enter term that is enter term 1 will say like cf p p of x p of y p of z so i can enter those term and read in cf p of x p of y and p of z after this then i can call head is equal to the the function that earlier we wrote that is header circular link insert underscore rare giving the head and cf px py and pz once read all the terms we will return the head the link so this is end of the function so this particular this this particular function will read all the terms and construct circular single singly linked list with header node and return back that particular linked list what we have earlier discussed is how to read a polynomial and how to construct the polynomial now we can discuss how to evaluate a polynomial given polynomial for example this is a polynomial given this equivalent is like this p of x y z is equal to 6 is the coefficient and this is power of x and this is power of y and this is power of z and here you have minus 4 there is no x component because x raised to 0 is 1 so here you have y and z is power is 5 plus 3 x q y z so this is the polynomial that we have taken now what is the value if x is 1 y is 1 and z is 1 uh, z is 1 so now this p of 1 comma 1 comma 1 it is nothing but Plus three into one raised to q into one into one. So this is like six minus four plus three. So this is five. 
So how how we can do this is initialize a pointer over here until you you come over here you can call sum which is sum plus that is if sum is zero for the first time then you can say like cf that is p of c you can say like p of c into power mathematical function power of power of uh, you can like power of x comma that is the base and here you can say like power of px that is the exponent that is into power of power of y base comma exponent so this is one term into power of base comma exponent so this is one one Sum. Now afterwards, I we we can have like we traverse here. Then this sum again execute this sum with this one. Then again you go jump over here execute this one. Then until you come to here you execute sum do sum and collect in the sum. So now this this statement would be executing until p link is not equal to h. R P is not equal to H. So, so what is it? So, this particular function, this particular statement would execute, execute until, until this condition. While P is not equal to H, until that, this sum statement is executed. so once once you reach p reaches the head p reaches over here in sum you have evaluated like five so that's the idea to evaluate the polynomial the same thing we can write in the code so i have taken three variables to take values of x y and z and a float a sum because uh, the sum uh, the this value uh, the power of a power function p o w will return double or float value that is why we have taken this as a float now uh, another node pointer p and we read uh, the value x y value here once this is read so we initialize a pointer which points to the first link, uh, first node of the circular linked list then and we repeat until this pointer will not come to the head once again so we we'll, we will be calculating the sum of first term then which is stored in the first node then we jump to the second node then we compute earlier sum with that new new node values we create like repeated sum we will do once we finish all the summation now the control transfer here now sum will have the value evaluated value of the polynomial and that that could be return sum and that is end of the function so this returns sum i have uh, i made a mistake this should be float i wrote node over here which returns this eval poly but i was returning sum which is of the type float so i have just changed that and shown over here 
So this is evaluation of polynomial. So I am trying. I am about to write the fun main function over here. So include these are the include statements, and this is the definition of the uh, uh, node. And this is I declare a node head and a re uh, result as a float, and I allocate memory for this particular head and initialize only the link, and I ignore all CF and uh, uh, power of x and power of y. So to visualize, I'll just write this as a head and this is how it looks at this position. So this is the link, uh, head, the link is pointing to itself. And call, call the read poly function supplying this head. So this read poly function will read the term and insert rep and give the polynomial here. So this will give the for polynomial and I call evolve poly giving this polynomial here and it returns a float, a result in float and I print the result. So th this is what the main function is. So we have seen how we can represent a polynomial in a linked list that is circular linked list with header, header node and we have seen how to read a polynomial and how to evaluate a polynomial.